your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. I am standing beside, actually in front, of one of the biggest tourist spots in the nation. It is on the border between Nevada and Arizona. It is, of course, Hoover Dam. Millions of people have come here to see Hoover Dam and walk across the top and watch the spillways since it was first built decades ago. But during the past couple of years, they built something else here that in itself has become yet another tourist site. For behind me is a magnificent arch bridge that even without Hoover Dam being here, this bridge would become a place people would want to go to. Even before 9-11, there was a call to get the traffic off the top of Hoover Dam. After 9-11, the need became even more critical for fear that sabotage in a vehicle could do something to the dam itself. And so after years in the making, as they say, and a lot of construction accidents and some major problems, this bridge was finished. When Hoover Dam was first dedicated 76 years ago this weekend by FDR, it was anticipated there would be traffic across the top of the dam on US-93. But no one envisioned that eventually the flow would be a near 24-7 traffic jam. Plans were in the making for years as to just how to bypass the dam, and it took nearly a decade for the construction of the dramatic, expensive, more than 1,000-foot-long twin-rib concrete arch bridge that is 1,500 feet downstream from the dam. Building the spindly, super-tall towers was fraught with accidents. One wind-caused collapse set the project back two years. Building the arch across the chasm was a delicate operation. And driving under the completed bridge is a mind-boggling experience. Meanwhile, Hoover Dam quietly continues to generate electricity for the desert southwest. If there is any negative aspect to all of this, it's the fact that when you're up on that bridge, you can't see Hoover Dam. And you're not really aware that you're that high off the ground. And maybe that's a good thing. I was worried when they designed this bridge that they would have railings you could see through. People would start looking at Hoover Dam and lose control of their car. It's a lovely bridge and an exciting construction project. And for a lot of us, we're glad it's finished. From Hoover Dam, I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.